it's Beer O'Clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Badger Brewery in Dorset. Hall and Woodhouse. So they're Badger Ales, but Hall and Woodhouse Brewery. This is the Master Stout. It's a coffee stout coming in at 5% ABV in a 500 milliliter bottle. It's a black bottle with the Badger logo on the top. Looks pretty good. <laughs> so it's a stout uh, with a, an Italian aluminium coffee machine, espresso coffee machine, and then pouring himself a coffee. I <laughs> can't find, quite funny that actually. Um, Beer, the uh, bottle opener, bottle opener, here's one. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Now, I picked this beer up in Sainsbury's. It was about £1.80 per bottle. Which I think for a beer, for a bottled ale this day and age, I think it's quite fair. It's quite fair if, uh, if they, they generally kind of hovered around that price point for an awful long time, haven't they? The, the £1.80 or they, they tend to go like three for four by, or, or three for a fiver, something like that along those lines. Definitely not three for four now. They used to be three for four years ago. They're definitely more like three for a fiver these days, these bottled ales. But we've got good carbonation on this one. It's... I'm very tempted to say jet, jet black, but there is a little bit of light bleeding through into the glass there. So that would suggest that... I'm not going to say the beer is thin, but it would suggest that it, it, well it's definitely not jet black like a guinness is it and there's a little bit of light bleeding through in the glass there so it's almost like a really 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 dark mild as a style let's get the aroma oh wow but that is full on wow that is full on roasty toasty roasted malt which i which I always say is very important with a with a stout. If you're going to make a stout, put some roasted malt in it. So you definitely get the roasted malt, but then you get a real kick of coffee, a real big kick of espresso-like coffee. It smells fantastic. That really does smell absolutely fantastic. And you might have seen some of my reviews of some of these canned stouts that are really, really sweet and cloiny. And you hear me complain, ah, oh, you know, ah, sweet stouts are awful. This is exactly what I want in a stout. I want that roastiness, I want that toastiness. I want all of that coffee. A little bit of licorice in there, a little bit of caramel. It smells fantastic. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Brilliant. Brilliant. And I say that off the back of drinking some of these stouts, some of these like sweet, cloyny, awful, awful like chocolate stouts that are out these days. They just bang it full of cocoa powder and there's no bitterness and they're just awful. This 
This is quite brilliant. This is quite brilliant. It's given me an idea for a video, actually. You can probably understand where that video is going to, what it's going to be. Um, but it's given me an idea for a video. It's rich, it's creamy, it's decadent, it's bitter. That is one bitter stout. That is exactly, exactly what I want. That is, oh, that has got a real kick of coffee, roasted malt bitterness. That's just simply fantastic. Fantastic. I totally understand. I totally understand that that taste is it's it's subjective, isn't it? It's your own personal take. It's your own personal taste buds. What you want in a beer. Some people will want these. I mean, is this a stout? What even is this? Oh, it's a pale ale. Oh, I won't show you that. It's a pale ale, but this is what's going on in the world these days of beer. These kanga flake and sauce ice cream pale ale. I'm just not. I'm just not interested. I'm just not interested in that style of beer. Um, I find them too sweet. I find them really gimmicky, and and to be quite frank, I find them expensive. You're paying three to three pound fifty for a can of this in a 440 milliliter can, I'll tell you. This is a 500 milliliter bottle. You're having an extra 60 milliliters of beer for your money. And it's probably one pound twenty cheaper per bottle. So not only are you getting more beer, but you're saving over a pound per bottle. And if you're a fan of rich, toasty, bitter, traditional stouts with a bit of coffee in, of course, it's not traditional traditional, it's a coffee stout, then you will love this. You will love this. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this beer at all. In fact, it's fantastic. The roast, oh, I can't, I just, just want to carry on talking about that roasty toastiest because I feel that I need to talk about this a lot on the channel because there's a danger that these, these sweet stouts, they might sweep the market. And that's my, my fear. That's my biggest fear is, is that these sweet stouts will completely conquer and I won't be able to find a stout that I like anymore. And that will be, for me, on a personal level, that will be devastating. Because I love these old wee heavies, these old rich, dark ruby ales, the, the stouts, the porters. But in a, in a very traditional sense, in a very traditional sense, I don't like all this sweet stuff. It's terrible. Awful. I, can't, I have one sip and I'm like, I want to pour this down the sink. Of the of the sweet stuff. Um, I won't read too much on this. Just they they bump about um, dark notes and and, and, and stuff. Um, I think it's fantastic. I think this is absolutely fantastic beer. I'm going to rate this. I'm really pleased that I picked up this stout. Uh, it was in Sainsbury's. I thought, oh, this might be okay. It's more than okay. It's more than okay. It's a nine out of ten. Nine out of ten from Real Old Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.